Subject to decades of controversy and court battles over the protection of an individual's right of expression, the First Amendment finds itself the center of attention yet again. Last Tuesday, the Office of Student Development recognized Constitution Day with a patriotic display in the atrium. The display featured pocket constitutions, information on voting, and a brief presentation on the television featuring Supreme Court justices. But what is Constitution Day? Freshman Justin Parnell believes it is a historical day to remember America's roots. It's a day to remember where we come from, the freedoms of which we were given, and most importantly, how we gained our freedom, to remember that we, everything we have came out of Christ, and that we've come a long ways from that. Although freedom of speech is just one of the five rights covered under the First Amendment, it has been the key driving force behind some of the most notorious and controversial court cases, including the People v. Larry Flint. We live in a free country, and that is a powerful idea. That's a, that's a magnificent way to live. But there is a price for that freedom, which is that sometimes we have to tolerate things that we don't necessarily like. Students gave examples of instances where they felt boundaries were pushed, but nonetheless protected. One such example was the viral YouTube video, Innocence of Islam. And in all my young life, I have not seen such a murderous thug as Mohammed. Junior Drew Hill has studied the Quran and its religious message. While he can understand how some were upset by the video, he defended the Constitution and the individual's right to express their opinion, regardless of popularity. In our culture, uh, A, we have free speech, we have free thought, so a Christian can think the way he wants to. He is completely in his rights in America to do that. Um, in another country, it's not the same thing unless it's at a diplomatic uh, place, which, as we know, because of that, doesn't matter because they lit it on fire. Um, in America, he's completely allowed to, though. Whether it's the things we tweet, artwork we hang, or places we meet, free speech is something Americans utilize on a daily basis. For Campus Watch, I'm Jasmine Jones.